So, Coach, you, you lost a lot of off offensive weapons this mm -hmm. year. How tough is that going to be to replace? Well, it, um, it'll, it'll be our, our biggest challenge. Um, you know, we'll be a work in progress to some degree offensively until some of our young guys get, uh, get experience. You know, we'll have a new quarterback. Uh, our top two running backs uh, graduated. Top three receivers graduated and um and and so th there's a challenge there and and you know we we need to replace some guys up front uh we have talent uh on the offensive side of it and so that's that's really good it's just going to take a little bit of time for that ta talent to to develop and uh, to reach uh, their maximum b ability but um defensively we should be very good um we've got a lot of experience coming back uh we'll be deep uh, in all phases of the defensive game. Special teams should be very good. We've got good team speed. That usually carries over into very good special teams. So I, I think we have a chance to be a, a good football team. We just need to have the offense catch up with us. Has Darius Vick at this point run away with the starter's job at quarterback? Is he in yeah. a little bit of a battle? How's that going to play? Yeah, uh, you know, it's um, we've got good talent there. So um, uh, he's not run away with it, but he performed well in the spring. He's the only quarterback coming back that uh, has got playing experience for us, and uh, obviously that's come in handy for him as he's gone through uh, as he went through spring ball, and will serve him well at the start of the season. But uh, he's being challenged. Uh, you know, J.D. Sprague, um, obviously uh, a walk-on for us who earned a scholarship and uh, has done a great job. is um, is a, a quarterback that has a chance to continue to develop and and get uh, get great. Uh, uh, Greg uh, Wyndham from uh, uh, Florida um, is another player that um, has got a great arm and great size, and so you know he has an opportunity to really develop in the in the program, and and so you know we feel we've got quality at the spot. We just need to get him some experience. Is that part of the reason you played Vic as much as you did last mm -hmm. year to have a guy with valuable reps, even yeah. though he's not? technically the returning starter yeah that was part of the game plan was to uh, get him some reps so that uh, coming into this season he would not be a stranger to our offense and and obviously have some experience under his belt where uh, he's been gone up against people and under some pressure speaking of quarterback battles how mm -hmm. in the world did you lose out in the recruiting battle for joe burrow yeah <laughs> well you know he had so many choices and and um, obviously uh he picked a school that's one of the top five programs in the country, in the nation. And so, um, you know, uh, th that's understandable for him to w want to test the waters there and, and um, see how far he can advance in their program and how good he, he can become for them. And, um, you know, if, if he was going to stay within the MAC uh, or, um, you know, any conference similar to ours, there's no question he would have come to Ohio. You know, this perfect segue you talk about him going to one of the top five programs in the country the top five conferences now mm -hmm. seem to be trying to pull away with these new uh, autonomy rules and right. make it harder for the max of the world mm -hmm. how much do you follow something like that and how much do you have to let that be background noise because it'll just drive you crazy if you well follow every detail. yeah you know it's developing so fast you have to pay some attention uh to it um and you know they're going to get some things done that's going to serve the top five what they call power conferences uh, very well. Um, you know, I, I do know this, the MAC will continue to play great football and we'll be playing some people within those power five conferences. They'll be playing us. And um, so, you know, we'll still have our opportunities to, uh, to show well against um, th those kind of football programs. And um, so some things will change, um, some things will not change. We'll, we'll have to just see how drastically it uh, takes place. You're playing Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Speaking of power conferences, yeah, yeah. you don't get much more powerful <laughs> than the SEC. Right. Could you also do us a favor and book us a game against Brady Hoke's squad? Because that would just be delicious for him to play actual Ohio. Yeah, well, you know, uh, that's probably not on the agenda. Uh, we would not mind playing them. I mean, uh, obviously, we've played Ohio State. Um, we've played Penn State. We've played Illinois. We've played Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, so... We've played um, a, a lot of very good football uh, programs, and we're open and willing to, to play anybody. And, and, uh, but they're not on the near agenda that I know of. Last question. You keep getting guys drafted. Mm -hmm. Is that part of your recruiting pitch now? Because, I, I mean, you obviously are having success getting mm -hmm. guys in the league. You've had 47 overall going yeah, to the yeah, NFL, yeah, yeah. and then quite a few at OU. Yeah. 
But yet that still seems like a difficult sell to me. Come to Ohio University and get to the NFL. Well, um, not only are we having players drafted, six out of six players drafted in the last seven years, uh, and and so uh, that's we're getting that done. Um, but we're also getting guys signing free agent contracts. We had uh, five players that got tryouts and free agent contracts with pro teams this year, uh, uh, above and beyond our draftee, and and so we're getting a lot of guys that are getting opportunities in, in pro ball, and uh, and I want that to continue, and there's no reason why it shouldn't. And uh, in fact, I think there's probably more uh, guys that are capable of uh, getting opportunities for the NFL in our program right now and being drafted than, uh, than ever before. So we hope to continue to move the program forward. And they're coming back and giving back to the program, right? Yeah, they, yeah they always come back. Uh, they always visit. And, um, uh, you know, it's always great to see them and see the connection. And, uh, you know, what's great is when they, when they play, it was great to see LeVon Brazil in the playoffs score a winning touchdown when they introduce them at the beginning of the game, uh, says Ohio University, when, when it comes down to what school are you from, you know. So that's always great for our program. You know, I do want to follow up on that real quick about recruiting. Mm -hmm. How do you recruit and have success in recruiting? Because you don't seem to me to be the kind of guy that can cite, like, Drake lyrics or, you know, do the nay-nay, or, or get these, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you're a great coach. You're yeah. not what I would call the hippest of coaches, like maybe Saul is. He could probably relate to the kids a little better than someone like you and I. Yeah. So um, how do you do that? You know, actually, I relate to uh, players very well. Uh, I may not do it in the traditional way, uh, but but really, you know, players want to play great football. Um they, they want to get their degree and get their education, and, and I can help them tremendously uh, with that. And, um, you know, I'm excited about the game of football. I love it. Um, I love our program. I love our players in terms of what they're all about and the effort that they give and, and what we can get done there. And, and so that excitement's there. And uh, all you need to have is some excitement around players, and, and they'll – take the ball and run with it from there sometimes you don't need the gimmicks no you know uh the gimmicks uh are fine but when they're when you're not winning those gimmicks don't seem so great anymore thank you so much all right Coach. thank you